there's a lot of young people who are in a place right now where you've been, and that's they've learned that athletics are a great pathway to getting themselves into a new financial position, whether that's becoming the first one of their their family to go to college or by going pro to have this major jump in, in income. But there's a lot of things along the way that I'm sure you would have liked to do differently. For somebody who's in your shoes right now, who's that senior in high school getting ready to go away to college, or maybe they're in their first few years in college and they've got the pros on their mind, what is your message for them today? Oh, I, bro, I have I have so many young people who I talk to now, um, you know, because I before I moved to Mississippi, that's what I was doing. I was training. I was I was training high school kids in Jacksonville, Florida. And so I, I still talk to um, t- still talk to a lot of them. Actually, one of the kids who I trained, Jack, Jack Holcomb, his mom, his family took me uh, and my kids to the movies for Christmas. Um, so I have, you know, I have great relationships with these people. And what I tell these kids, man, is to, um, is to network, to put their all into their game and to not chase women. Cause that's what I did. Hey, I did the complete opposite. I chased women then I worked on my game. And so what I tell them now is bro, if you work on your game, if you perfect your craft, they will come. I say, you don't need to worry about women right now. You need to worry about, you know, perfecting your craft, listening to your parents, and having and, and putting God first. And what I and I don't, I don't just say put God first because that's it's kind of it's cliche to say that, right? Like people just say put God first and that's it. No, I break it down to them. What I mean by putting God first is I mean studying your word. I mean going to church. And even if you don't go to church, I believe in fellowshipping. Like what we're doing right now, you should always fellowship. You should always talk about the gospel. You know what I mean? Um, find ways to get better. Find ways to have a deeper understanding of life. You know what I mean? Um, find ways to be in a constant state of humility. You know what I mean? Because if you exalt yourself, God will humble you. And that's exactly what he did to me. You know, um, thinking that my shit ain't stank. Thinking that I'm better than other people. You know, he humbled my ass. And so that's my advice to them. Hey, bro, don't rush the process. Go through it. I know you're ready, but hey, man, it's going to go back like that. Um, and enjoy it. Enjoy it. And that's what I tell them now. That's a perfect message. I think that between watching how your life has played out and somebody who is listening to all right, I had this natural innate creativity. I was writing as a child and then I lost that in middle school and high school and I fell into this just trying to be masculine, just chase women. I kind of neglected my craft and I have some regrets on how I could have showed up, but ultimately it's helped me affirm my faith in God and decide how I want to be a father and a parent. Now you're a really powerful example. And that's what I remember standing out to me most about when you and I finally like cemented a relationship is no matter how your football career is going to go, you have a stronger message for people that is simply your lived experience. And uh, I think it's, it's a good one. 